Hello, this is William Bell. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And if you're a new uh, viewer, we encourage you to hit the red subscription button as well as the uh, bell so that every time we do a new video, you will receive one. In this video, we're going to talk about Hebrews chapter 7, 11, and 12. And we're going to talk about the failure of the Levitical priesthood to bring about perfection. And maybe question why there are those out there who want to stay under the old law and imperfect covenant or imperfect covenant in terms of what it could produce for you based on your inability to keep it versus a covenant where God will bless you with the forgiveness of sins and entrance into the kingdom of God. So let's take a look at the text. In Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 11, the Bible is very clear. It says, therefore, if perfection, now did you get that? If perfection were through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law. All right, what was the basis of the receiving of the law? It was the priesthood. So the priesthood was the foundation upon which the law rested. And no building is any stronger than its foundation. So just get that. Let's say this book is the foundation. That would be the priesthood. And then you take this pen and you put it on top of the book. All right. But if the foundation goes, the pen goes as well. And that's the point that Paul is making or the writer is making in Hebrews chapter 7. Now notice, therefore, if perfection were through the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people, that's Israel, received the law. What further need was there that another priest, what? Another priest should arise according to the order of Melchizedek and not be called according to the order of Aaron. So you had two priesthoods. One was the priesthood of Aaron, the Levitical priesthood, as part of the Old Covenant and the law of Moses. But he says, if you could receive perfection under that law, if that could bring you into the right relationship with God, under that law, under that priesthood, then he says, you wouldn't need another priesthood. It would be redundant, superfluous, unnecessary. But then watch the next verse. For the priesthood being changed. All right, let's go back to our illustration again. We got our book and we have our pen. Now remember, the law, the pen, rests upon the foundation of the priesthood, the book. But he says, for the priesthood being changed. So we're going to change the priesthood. But now where's the foundation? It's gone. What are we going to change it to? We're going to change it to a new priesthood. It's a new book. But we don't put the same law on top of the new priesthood. He says, for the priesthood being changed, if you change the priesthood, of necessity, there is a change also of the law. So what we're going to do is we're going to get another pen, that's a red one this time, and we're going to put it upon the new priesthood. So you have a new priesthood and you have a new uh, law, a new covenant. That's the teaching. So why are people wanting to stay under the old when you could not have perfection? But you can have perfection under the new. And so for the priesthood being changed of necessity, there is also a change of the law. Now, the Bible says, For he who of, of whom these things are spoken belongs to another tribe, from which no man has officiated at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out or arose from Judah, of which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning the priesthood. So there's nothing in the Aaronic priesthood, excuse me, let me get my other book. There's nothing in the Aaronic priesthood about someone in the tribe of Judah officiating 
as the high priest. It isn't there. But if that priesthood changed, so did the law. And thus, Christ is a priest after the order of Melchizedek, and that means that he has a new covenant. The new covenant has already been implemented. That means the old one is gone. Go back to our first video and watch it, as well as the second, and you will see that. And so when you get to Hebrews chapter 10, the Bible says, For the law having a shadow of the good things about to come. So they weren't to be stretched out for generations from the first century down to now, and we're still waiting on Christ to come and change the priesthood? No. Those things were about to come. Look up the word mellow in the text. For the law having a shadow of the good things about to come, and not the very image. See, the law didn't have the image. It had a shadow of it. So all these guys who are around here shouting about you need to be under the law are doing nothing but shadow boxing. They're fighting the shadow. They're following a shadow. The text says, not the very image of the things, can never with those same sacrifices which they offer year by year continually make those who approach perfect. If they believe they're under the old covenant, why are they not offering the sacrifices? The Bible says, for then they would not have ceased to be offered. Or would they not have ceased to be offered? For the worshipers once purified, you see, once purified, would have no more consciousness of sins. But they all think they're under the curse. They're still claiming to be under the curse, under sin. But in those sacrifices, there is a reminder of sins every year. They don't even do the sacrifices. But they want to claim that Christ has come. We got a new priesthood, according to the tribe of Judah, which means that we must have a new law. And yet they want to claim that they're still under the old one. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats could take away sins. You see, if you couldn't take away sins, you couldn't have perfection. But if you can take away sins, you have perfection. That's what the new covenant brings to you. But it also brings the kingdom of God, salvation, redemption, the blessing of the Messiah. That's the message. I hope you got some points from that. I'm William Bell. Subscribe to the channel. Click the button to receive the notifications. Visit our website at allthingsfulfilled dot com and download our mobile app which is free until next time you have a great day